All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? All my people in Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, OL Staten Island, my homeboy, Brooklyn. Back at another video. This is going to be an aftermath video for the Saints. Buccaneers game. Congratulations to the Buccaneers and Tom Brady for getting to the NFC Championship game. First time the Bucs have been since 2002, which, of course, the year they won the Super Bowl. They're going to be going to Green Bay, Wisconsin, and the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field to face the Green Bay Packers, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Yeah, that should be a great game. Should be the best game of the weekend, you know. If the Ravens had advanced the AFC Championship game to face the Chiefs, I would have said that one. But they didn't. The Bills did. It, it, it still might be a good game. It still might be a good game. But uh, congratulations to, to Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. But I really want to do this video on Drew Brees, you know. You know, he said he hasn't decided where he's going to retire or not after this season. You know, personally, if I was him, I would. You know, he might come back for another season, but I would. But I want to do, talk about his legacy and his career, man. Drew Brees, one of the all-time greatest quarterbacks since the NFL, you know. Definitely one of the top four of his generation, his Mount Rushmore. Listen, Drew Brees came in the league in 2001. When he was drafted by the San Diego Chargers. So, Payne, Payne Manning came in the league in 98. Brady came in the league in 2000. A-Rock came in in 05. That's kind of Drew Brees' generation. He's definitely probably the fourth best, okay, after Brady and then maybe Rodgers, and then I put Peyton in him, okay, and the reason Breeze is last below those guys, below those guys to me, well, excuse me, I put Peyton Manning second, then Aaron Rodgers third, but um, the reason Drew Breeze is fourth because, well, one, he doesn't have MVP, Drew Breeze never won league MVP, I don't know what the closest he came is, but he never, he doesn't have one, he has all type of passing records, you know, he's Second all-time passing touchdowns, 571 to Brady. Brady has 581, so he's 10 behind Tom Brady. He's the all-time leader in passing yards at 80,358, and he's fourth all-time in wins for a quarterback at 172. He's tied. Okay, I've seen him in 2001 with Drew Brees. Drew Brees with the San Diego Chargers. With LaDainian Tomlinson, who was the first-round pick. Drew Brees was the second-round pick. Now, obviously, at the bottom, it says 32nd overall pick. Obviously, back then, there were only 31 teams in the NFL. They didn't become 32 teams in 2002 when the Houston Texans were put were put into the league. You know, Houston got a franchise after the Oilers left. But you know, that's another that's another story for another day. But um, Alex Drew was the second round pick for the Chargers. Him and LT will form a dynamic duo in San Diego. Here's Phillip Rivers in 04. Rivers came in in 04. The Chargers won 12 and 4 in 2004. 2005, he broke his shoulder and they were like seven and nine. You know, and then of course we all know what happened after that. But the Chargers, it's a shame the Chargers didn't win the Super Bowl that year. That team was loaded, man. Drew Brees, LaDainian Tomlinson, Antonio Gates. They had Malcolm Floyd and I think Vincent Jackson. Like, they were loaded. And they had the dude Sean Merriman, the, the pass-rushing linebacker. You know, he was, yeah, he, was just, he was just amazing. That team, they went 14-2 in 2006. They didn't win the Super Bowl, but that's whatever. Anyway, that said, Drew Brees left after 2005. He was going to go to Miami, but they fucked up his, uh, his, um, Shit, I forgot what happened. They fucked up some. He obviously had a shoulder, shoulder injury. They fucked it up. Okay, and they ended up signing Dante Culpepper over Drew. I know, I know that's a mistake that <laughs> they regret that. Dolphins GM regrets. Nick Saban regrets because he was the coach at the time. And here's New Orleans, obviously, in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. And this is one of the reasons Drew Brees wanted to go to New Orleans, you know, rebuild the Saints franchise and uh, help bring life back to the city after this devastating tragedy. And of course, 2006 on Monday night, the first game back in the Superdome after Katrina against Michael Vick and the Falcons on Monday Night Football. Steve Gleason, the safety, blocked a punt and returned it for a touchdown, which the first touchdown in the Superdome, and the Superdome roared. It roared that day. You know, so it was a sign of things to come for the New Orleans Saints franchise. 2006, they ended up getting to the NFC Championship game and lost to the Bears. Three years later, they got this the Super Bowl ring. They went to the Super Bowl in 2009. 2009, I remember watching that season. They were. 13-0, and then they dropped the last three games of the season, finished season 13-3, number one seed. They played Kurt Warner and the Cardinals in the second round, in the divisional round, but whooped their ass. Played Brett Favre and the Vikings, beat them. Of course, Brett Favre threw the, the, the pick to Tracy Porter. They ended the game. Then they faced off against Peyton Manning and the Colts, who were 14-2. and And actually, actually, I believe they started that season 14-0. and Peyton was the league MVP. They dropped the last two games of the season. That team was loaded. Peyton Manning, you know, Dominique Rose, I believe, was the running back. They had Reggie Wayne. They had Philip Dorsett. Reggie Wayne, my boy from the U. They had Robert Mathis. They had Dwight Freeman. Like, they were loaded. You know, that team, th both these teams were kind of evenly matched. And obviously, the Saints ended up winning 31-17. Peyton Manning, the game was 24-17. Peyton Manning threw a costly interception. 
pick six to Tracy Porter, the hero in the NFC Championship game against the Vikings. He returned, I think, 72 yards to the house. Saints seal the win, 31-17. Obviously, here's Drew Brees' stats. He was a Super Bowl MVP. Completed 32 of 39 passes. 32 of 39 passes. Let's see. He had to give the Saints the first franchise, first Super Bowl and the only Super Bowl to this day in franchise history. You know, Reggie Bush was on that team. Because we all know Reggie at the time was in Kim Kardashian. I remember that shit. And, you know, the Saints was, uh, they were reborn. Okay, now the city of New Orleans for the first time in years has something to celebrate. I remember the Saints radio guy said something like, Get ready to party with the Lombardi, New Orleans. The Saints have won the Super Bowl. You know, so that's Drew Brees' legacy to me. He helped, he rebuilt the Saints franchise. The Saints, who were known as the Aints before he got there, they were a losing franchise. You know, they had, you know, like, yeah, that's some great players like Ricky Jackson, who was a pass rusher, outside linebacker for the Saints. You know, they had Peyton Manning's father, Archie Manning, who was considered a bust. You know, I don't think he was a bust. I think he was just in a bad situation, you know, playing for the Saints. But, um, yeah, that, obviously, this is a Tracy Porter interception. But this is Ruby's legacy. He took the Aints and he turned them into Super Bowl champions and consistent perennial winners, man. Obviously, in the aftermath, you know, 2010, they lost to the Seahawks. You know, the Beast Quake. And 2013, lost to the Seahawks again. You know, they kind of went through a period of rebuild. And recently, 2017, they got back being good. They lost the Minneapolis Miracle Game. 2018, they lost to the Eagles. 2019, I, I forgot I forget what happened. And now they lost to the Bucks. But um, like I said, Drew Brees, I think if I were him, I would retire, you know. Not getting any younger, obviously. And I don't think... And I don't think the Saints are going to win it next year anyway. So, personally, if I were Drew Brees, I'd call it a career. Like I said, all-time leading passing yards, second all-time in touchdowns, fourth all-time in wins. That's his legacy. He's one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. He's a damn sure first battle Hall of Famer. And he's the greatest New Orleans Saint of all time. <laughs> you know, and, you know, for a guy who's like, what, five nine, six feet tall, you know, that's not standard high for a quarterback. It's very short for a quarterback. He got, you know, he maxed out. He has a high football IQ, extremely intelligent, a great arm. You know, he maxed out. It's a shame he never got an MVP. He probably could have got it in 2009 when they gave it to Peyton Manning. Probably could have got it, you know, 2011 when maybe so many quarterbacks went him in 2011, you know. Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, uh, Eli Manning from my Giants. Of course, we won that Super Bowl that year, you know. That's Drew Brees' legacy, man. So, you know, Drew Brees probably could have got that MVP, but... Anyway, what y'all think is about this video? Like it, click that like button, subscribe, help you more to go on YouTube, comment down below, and be on the lookout for that greatest of all time on the Miami Hurricanes, the Owen Hurricanes. Throw up the U, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know this is a Drew Brees video, but I'm sorry I had to throw that in there, all right? See y'all.